What's good, YouTube? This is your boy J. Watson back with another video for you guys. Hey, hey, we got another video. We got another My Team video for you guys. Now, this video is an imagination video of what Opal Ray would be like. Now, before we get into any specs, I just want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit. I appreciate you guys coming through watching the content, man. It's love, and hey, I want to keep bringing that fire to you guys. And besides that, bro, like I said before, this is about Opal Ray Allen. Now, Opal Ray Allen, now look, look, look. We all, we all are, are waiting for this card. Now, I know that you waited for this card. I'm probably, like, interested in this card. Now, one thing about it, you know, they are they are showing a 40 overall Opal Ray Allen, but this is going to be Opal. You know, you can tell by how it looks. It's just going to be automatic Opal. Um, my thing is this. This is just going to be a little talks on what we think Opal Ray Allen would be like. Now, my thing is we're going to look at a few of his cards. and We're going to look at his Amethyst card and talk over his Amethyst card a little bit and see what would be upgraded of his Amethyst card to the Opal. Uh, what we, would what we want to see for his from his Opal? Now, like I stated before, you do need the Prime Series 1 set. Um, you need Derrick Rose, John Stockton, Will Chamberlain, Tim Duncan, and then whatever the mystery player is that will come out pretty soon. Um, what will you guys think that mystery player would be? By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, join Lace Up Crew. Hey, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on those notifications, and if you're liking the content so far, hit that. Hit that, bro. Like, you know, like just, just click it, because people be forgetting to click it. Nah, I ain't going to spam a little bit. But, like I stated before, we got Opal Ray Allen here. We're not going to get all further into it. Like I said, this is the Opal. At the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Amethyst card itself. Um, we're going to look at the Amethyst Ray Allen. Now, one thing about the Amethyst Ray Allen, he is a 90 overall. So, you know, of course, that's a 9-point boost once the Opal cut comes out, because pretty much the Opal is supposed to be a 99. Um, it's supposed to be a 99. Uh, so yeah, we look at it, Amethyst Ray Allen. Uh, if they let me, you know, we're just trying to see Ray Allen. We just want to see it Ray Allen. Every, I mean, obviously they don't want me to see Ray Allen. Ray Allen, like this is just, I put it in Ray Allen. They don't want your boy to see Ray Allen. Obviously, let's just refresh it. All right, let's do this over. Ray Allen. Okay, there we go. That's what we want to see in the first place. So Amethyst Ray Allen lights out. He's in a lights out set. I don't have him. Uh, I thought I did, but I don't. Um, shooting guard slash power four itself, 6'5", of course the height won't change, 93 overall on offense and 81 overall on defense. Looking at the badges here, he has one Hall of Fame badge, which is a catch and shoot Hall of Fame. Now, let's be real and get this out the gate right now. Now, I know some of you guys probably can't see because my webcam is in the way, but hey, we're going to get through this. Um, right now, he does have 18 gold on his Amethyst. He will have all the Hall of Fame shooting badges. I'm going to say that right now from catch and shoot steal, corner specialist, difficult shot, uh, volume shooter, tireless score, uh, definitely um, quick draw, green machine, range extender, steady shooter. He will have all those Hall of Fame. My only thing is, will he, would you guys think that they would drop another Hall of Fame badge on the side, maybe a defensive badge. The man doesn't have no defense badges on this card itself. So my thing is, will he get some gold clamps or maybe get a silver clamps? You know, uh, we're just trying to see a defensive Ray Allen as well. Now, also with that being said, like I said, the man's is, uh, this card is pretty goaded. I'm not gonna lie. It's a nice card to have, especially, excuse me, especially if you actually not to play with him um his, his card does have a mid range at an 89 which i think the opal will boost him to a 95 the three ball would definitely be at a 99 for the opal um gyron dunk i think it will go from a 75 to prob probably like an 88 you know give that man some some dunking abilities because he was dunking back in the day like that also as well as in ball handling will definitely go up probably at 88 uh let's see we, defense is steals at a 60 i think he'll go up to probably about like a 80 85 um, perimeter defense at an 84. Probably can see that going to like an 88, 89. Um, speed wise, 80. Probably going to a 90. Speed with the ball, probably going to an 87. Uh, like I said before, I wanted to see this Opal Ray Allen pretty decent. Like I said, we got Kobe already at the shooting guard position, so it's like um, make this card beneficial for me to put into this lineup. You know, it's like there's a, there's plenty of cards out there. This is pretty much going to be an offensive card. Um, a lot of people thinking that's going to be a defensive card with an offense because we're starting to get into that time where they're dropping like crazy cards with defensive badges and crazy shots and blah, blah, blah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I got a feeling this is going to be a strictly offensive Opal card um, that some of you guys are not going to really want to use. Uh, mainly, you're going to have him because he does have all the offensive Hall of, offensive Hall of Fame badges. But my thing is, you know, if this Ray Allen does have some defense with it, it will be even goaded. Um... But yeah, man, I'm just getting out that because, like I said, I'm really interested in seeing what that's going to be like. 
uh, as also as well as in we're gonna get into some slight just game let's talk to you guys it's some freelance we're gonna shoot with the Ruby Ray Allen and some freelance just to you know get a little spill and talk about a few more things as well but you know when we get over there I, I'll see y'all on the next end at the freelance you know the vibes let's get it and see we here we here we have Ruby Ray Allen we don't have the amethyst Ray Allen now one thing about it, I just want to show you guys some just a couple shots with Ray Allen because you know, like I said before this is just an imagination of what Opal Ray can be like now i know that you know we can't literally speak in the terms of literally this is opal ray but just imagine this opal ray once he does have hall of fame green machine um that's gonna be one of the cards that he, that's gonna be one of the actual badges that he will have at his opal card that i can imagine um also as well as and like i said like i said it before what do you guys think would be his badges coming into his opal card itself um like i said the shot's kind of slower but he, he definitely will have hall of fame quick draw i can definitely just see that being a thing uh, like I said, I got a feeling it's going to be around the Jesus Shuttleworth Ray Allen type of feel uh, Where he, he was able to see that man have handles now back in when he's playing in Seattle Sonic That boy had a little juice with the handles and was able to get a little shifty now Of course, his Ruby Ray Allen card is you know, Miami Heat Ray Allen So it's pretty much, you know, he, his crossovers wasn't that, you know, up to par He had the basics one twos, you know, what I'm saying mainly his shot was a big factor um, But just, I can only imagine that Ray Allen just having the, that icky if Y'all know what I'm being by that icky. Y'all be watching my streams. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, this Ray Allen is gonna be a, a decent card that I will say that I might pick up. Um, even though I do have a Kobe, a lot of people have a Kobe on their lineup, so it's like really, would that be a, a big factor of picking uh, Ray Allen up? I would say so. Um, especially for a three-point shooter, you know, people who love shooting their threes, man. Especially with that green bean machine. Now, if they get that man Hall of Fame clamps or they get that man gold clamps, bro, that's gonna be a uh, that'd be even a better card to pick up because not a lot of people have clamps. But um, I'm pretty sure his hot zones definitely will be. Um, his hot zones will definitely be updated. Um, this man will probably be red out the whole gym on his opal. You know, everything will probably be red up on this whole gym. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, in the comment section below, what do you guys think that Opal Ray Allen's card is going to be like? Um, what do you guys think his stats will be like? What, do you, what badges do you think he will have? Um, I want to hear y'all thoughts on the Opal Ray Allen that's going to drop pretty soon. Um, even though, you know, like to get Opal Ray Allen, you have to complete the Prime Series 1 set. Which, it, which does include Derrick Rose, Tim Duncan, um, Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, am I missing? I think I'm missing one. Derrick Rose, Tim Duncan, Wilt Chamberlain, and I'm missing. I'm missing one. I always forget. I always forget the few. Oh, John Stockton, and then there's one more that we don't know about yet. So pretty much those cards are what you would need, and then there's one more card left, which you guys think that last card will be um, that you would need in order to complete to get Opal Ray Allen. Um, I think it will be a good card. I think it'll be a card that you know a lot of people will be using because the fact that he will be an opal. This will be this will be a lot of people's first opal too, at that due to the fact that they might be dropping a brand. They said they're gonna drop a brand Roy for the spotlight challenges pretty soon as well. So this is your boy RJ Watts TV signing out, man. I appreciate all y'all. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content. Also as well, hit the subscribe and join the lace up crew. You know the vibes, how we rock. You know we do. Hey. As well, before we do sign off, I got to show you, man. Get your merch if you didn't have it. Like I said before, the link will be in the description below. This is Boy RJ signing out.